up, dude? What up, dude? I'm trying to get just a little serious for a moment. Everybody talking about this. Everybody still talking about this R. Kelly shit. Still talking about it. I'm just going to chime in a little bit, man, because... <clears throat> I feel as if, you know, I feel as if this needs to be addressed. You feel me? I invite some more people. I ain't even trying to be on here that long. I'm gone off the Benny. Real slow mo right now. But, uh, rah. I'm gonna make a do with it, do. Alright. I got the taco meat showing and shit, man. Looking a little rough. But I'm here, you feel me? Oh, yeah. let me go ahead and wave. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Oh, cause Sean's on here. Uh, <clears throat> so, I went ahead and titled this. I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm out here in San Antonio, Texas. <coughs> <coughs> Hope everybody's having a pre decent Tuesday. <coughs> As you've been seeing on the social media, all on the Breakfast Club, just about any social outlet, you know, thing about R. Kelly, man, has been has been raising some 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 vibration. Feel like the whole vibration's been kind of raised. You understand what I'm saying? Just from uh, that docu series, you know what I mean? And I, I just want to say that you know, black people, man, we got to do better when it comes to how we react to things. All right, now I understand everybody gonna have a reaction, but it's like, yo, this nigga been doing this ill shit for like over 20 years, and we ain't really been. Ain't nobody like I look on the Breakfast Club the other day. Or I'm listening to it, and I hear um, I hear DJ Envy saying, "Oh, DJ shouldn't be playing his music. We should be boycotting R. Kelly, and he should never get a chance to ever blah 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 blah." Like nigga, you ain't saying nothing. Up. You've been having that platform for over five years. It's been like eight, almost ten years. They've been having the Breakfast Club. They ain't never come out and boycotted nothing when it came to R. Kelly. Nothing. 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 I mean, how much more did you need? How much more did you need? This nigga had two videos. A lot of hush money. And nobody from the quote-unquote industry came out talking about boycotting this dude or <coughs> getting rid of his music. No, but nobody black did. Nobody black was talking about doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, then all of a sudden this goes to Lifetime, which I don't know why black people are even co-signing Lifetime, man. Why are we co-signing that shit? Why are we co-signing Lifetime channel? When it comes to anything that they've put out, either biopics, uh, either uh, anything to do with the culture, anything they've ever put out when it comes to black people, th Lifetime has missed the ball. It's been trash. It's been trash. I mean, look at what they did with Aaliyah. You look at did what they did with uh, what else they do, man. Uh, shit, even Michelle Lace. I mean, everything they touched has been trash on Lifetime. I don't even know what's been good. What has been good on Lifetime? I'm talking about as far as these uh, movies and biopics and docu series that they're they're doing with the culture with us. You know what I mean? Because Look, I remember Lifetime, all right? I remember, you know, damn near ever, ever, uh, every woman I've ever dated watched day, uh, Lifetime. You understand? Lifetime used to be, I would always always knew what Lifetime, I always knew what it was going to be. It was, it was always a story about a dude that uh, did something to a female, something heinous, and somehow the woman gets revenge on him or... Uh, you know, 
it, I, like, I mean, it was always something about the man on Lifetime. The man was never treated well on Lifetime. You understand what I'm saying? The man was always the, 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 um, <coughs> what's it called? Antagonist. <coughs> Hold on a second. Whatever that shit was called. Hold on, man. I shouldn't have this shit on. Hold on. Yeah. Ex I was just going to get into that. So if you did not know, Lifetime, the Lifetime Network, the owner of the Lifetime Network, was a was a not not even a, a sex offender. This this mofo was into child pornography. He got like twenty counts of child pornography. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, Kashawn. I just found that out today also. You know what I mean? I ain't even know that. You know what I'm saying? Where's the outrage on that? See, the thing is, man, black people, man, we be going hard against each other, but we we won't go hard against these other other people, entities, and things of that nature. We won't do that. We'll, and then when we start trying to critique or we start trying to talk about it amongst ourselves, it ends up being a war. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Now ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody on social media with these memes and going crazy on the owner of Lifetime <laughs> Network. <clears throat> Twin dude got over twenty counts of child pornography. The owner of Lifetime Network, and we talking about R. Kelly. See, this is the thing, man. Like, and that's why I also put on this post, like. We, we got to accept the fact that we got our own kind pimping our own goddamn kids. We got our own kind pimping our kids. And ain't nobody calling these niggas out. Ain't nobody beating these niggas up. Ain't nobody sending no message to these people that are that are selling their kids out, pimping their kids out. You know what I mean? I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't even watched this docuseries. You understand what I'm saying? Because... I'm old enough to remember when this shit was really popping off for real, for real. I remember watching the now I, I there was two tapes that R. Kelly had had out. I remember watching one of them because, like me and and many other black people, the bootleg connection and the bootleg scene. You know what I'm saying? If you was into you know any type of bootlegging as far as ah shit, let me calm down. They uh. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to keep it. They messing with my connection now. Now my connection is going in and out. So I'll try to dumb it down a little bit. <clears throat> so they trying to. They trying to do something here. I'm gonna wave at y'all, man. I appreciate. You know what I mean? People checking this out, man. This is something serious, man. So I'm going to try to keep it to where, you know, I can try to get it popping and they don't really kind of, you know, take me off. But, um, you know, a lot of us live. Well, our <coughs> Good shit. <laughs> Better put that down. Oh shit! A lot of us might have lived through that R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? He was acquitted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know he <coughs> he must have had some 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 hella hush money, man. And see, that's the thing. Instead of instead of charges being pressed on this dude, the parents of many many I'm sure many. Teen, young teenage about to be all the way grown women <clears throat> were put out there by their parents man. you know what I'm saying I, I, I guarantee you know what I'm saying because all because we black people are addicted to trying to be famous and we're addicted to attention if you understand every 10 years we move into a different uh, era you know well not what a hundred years but every 10 years we move into a different kind of energy you understand what i'm saying and right now the energy is attention culture you know what i mean 
we will pimp ourselves out. Um, <coughs> we will do these things because we we are we are living in a different type of mind frame right now. And the problem is that you you mix in this 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 social media and it takes things to another level when it comes to what we care about, what we fight about, and, and, and the things that mean something to us. Because on, on for real, for real, we are people who really don't care about things until it happens to us. You understand what I'm saying? And most of the times when real stuff really happens out here, we ain't really doing nothing about it. You understand what I'm saying? We let so much ride. And it's like, man, some things, man, as a culture, as the people in the culture, we wonder why we're not being taken serious out here because we don't fight and we don't have any morals and we don't have any codes that we go by. We don't. Oh, look, I'm not going to lie to you, man. R. Kelly is someone who is one of the greatest R&B singers of all time. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the, the, the biggest R&B, one of the famous R&B. Hey. Oh, shit. He's one of the famous. Hey. Hey. Your ass over. He's one of the, <coughs> R. Kelly's one of the greatest R&B singers of all time, damn near. You know what I'm saying? And he had a problem. He got a problem. He got a serious problem. My thing is this, is that if you're getting ready to stop messing with and stop fucking with R. Kelly, as far as musically, then Lifetime shouldn't have been where it was. The, see, we, we try to find reasons we try to find reasons to leave shit alone. Oh shit, Lifetime that came out with this. Oh shit, look at this shit on the. Oh nigga, no nigga, I'm done with R. Kelly. Today, nigga, today. What about 20 years ago when he pissed on a little girl? Man, nah, man, look, man, he he didn't get charged with that, nigga. Now, now, since this Lifetime docu shit then came out, I'm just opening my eyes, yo. Yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah, R. Kelly was, uh, I've heard two different scenarios. I heard he was uh, raped or well, molested by a dude in his neighborhood and molested by, like, his sister and brother or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, that's no excuse for what he did as he got famous or whatever. But at the end of the day... At the end of the day, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he's got to be held accountable for the actions. <clears throat> he should have got help early. And I know people going to be like, well, shit, a nigga couldn't read either. Nah, he couldn't read. <clears throat> but these parents pimp these kids out. When are we going to get tired of that, man? Pimp, pimping your kids. Pimping hit pimping his kid pimping your kids and giving your kids basically giving your kids up to someone like R. Kelly. Like if you a parent and you let your kid stay with R. Kelly, and from what I've been told, man, they man, it it was long periods of time that they let their kids stay with R. Kelly, like a month. And I and, and people are so gullible and people don't know the industry. And they ain't asked R. Kelly, probably, they ain't asked him nothing. They probably was like, hey, they probably went like, hey, is the music, where's the music? None of that. None of that, man. You know what I'm saying? And they set they, they, they kids up to be, you know, violated. <laughs> hey, well, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I try to be on my own. Uh, that uh, I try to be on my Stokely Carmichael, you feel me? And plus, you know, these these shades, uh, shades are big, my head's big, 
What up? What up, though, man? What up, though? Uh, okay, so, like I said, man, um, these parents are pimping these kids out, man. I mean, Jesus, Lord of mercy, man. Like, what, 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 what is it going to take? You know what I'm saying? And that's something else I wanted to, to, to establish in this conversation is that, man, when are black people going to get, when are we going to stop accepting the bullshit? If you in a family, and, and, and I don't know what black family is out there that has not had a molester in their family. Let's be 100, man. Let's be 100. Every black family got a molester in their family, man. And I don't give a I don't give a fuck if somebody tell me, well, I don't have one. I ain't got one, Jay. I ain't listening to none of that shit, man. <clears throat> I ain't listening to none of that. You taking on some type of Europeanism when you start trying to talk like that, man. I ain't never had I ain't never had you thought it's like Coonan type shit. I ain't never had nobody that man nigga look, everybody, every family, every black family. You ain't so you ain't got that 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 family member that one family member that was that everybody had to know. Everybody had to know that one family member that was either in the closet, basement, attic. You know what I'm saying? You had some family member, you know what I mean, that you was told from your other family members, leave them alone. Don't go nowhere near them. I'm pretty sure every black family got that. And if you don't got that, then you know what I'm saying? Then you know what I mean? Maybe you ain't black. But I'm going to tell you all that, what that stems from, man. All that comes from slavery. Slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been out here. I've been out here, you know what I mean? Trying to be aware at all times. You understand what I'm saying? And there's one thing that's never addressed when it comes to us, man, is slavery. You know what I mean? And the effects of slavery. You know what I mean? Slavery has affected black people to a very high level and degree. Oh, you didn't want me sing your song? Oh, you want me to try? You are big to like. Am I? Okay. I mean, I'm surprised they <clears throat> they tried to disrupt my connection a couple times. I was like, man. I was like, let me let me slow it, let me thumb it down a little bit, man, before they cut my shit off. So yeah, everybody say, everybody say what's up though. Okay. Oh, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> but um, so yeah, you know what I mean. Every family got one, man. It's one in every family and every race. It is, it is, it is that. It is one in every race. You know what I'm saying? It is one. You know what I mean? And but but this is this is the this is the this is the difference though. This is the difference. You gotta understand that some of these other and, and these other ethnicities and these other races, some of this some of this practice right here of molesting and being with younger people, it's in a culture. It's in the culture. It's it's really not in, in the black culture, man. If we talking real, real, really real, <clears throat> I mean, you know, what I'm saying it was a period of time where you know, what I mean, uh, you know, fourteen year old women, girls were becoming wives and stuff. You know, what I mean, things in that nature. But you know, what I'm saying it was a different type of time period back then, man. You know, what I'm saying you had kings and queens that was like, in they in, in as teenagers in their teens. You understand what I'm saying? So that ain't really in our culture to be predators like that. You understand what I'm saying? We didn't become predators like this until slavery. There's no, there's no nothing that shows that black people have always had this type of violating actions in our families before slavery. Slavery is the only, slavery is the only if you someone who is black and, and and family roots trace back to um slaves that were you know slaves here in this country 
you're going to be affected by things that we're talking about. So when you so so we've got it to the point where it's almost normalized to be be violated. You understand what I'm saying? It's 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 so it's lightweight normal. And see what I what, what I what I don't like, man. I don't like you know what I'm saying. Like all these all these all these all these so called hardcore people. They're supposed to be this and that and hard and. That might be, I'm gonna try to turn that speaker off. Bro. People that that claim to be whatever, man, they'll come out. They'll they'll be ready to beat up another black person, but they won't beat up nobody that violated their family, though. That's facts right there. And if they are, they ain't doing it enough, nigga. I don't care who it is in your family. I don't care if it's an uncle, a cousin. Somebody, daddy, nigga, I don't give a fuck. If they ever touch one of your family members, man, they should they should really damn near be exterminated. If they don't get exterminated, man, they should get they should get dealt with. They should get dealt with on a for real, real level. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. That's the thing with black people, man. We claim to be all this hard ass shit, and we are some hard, you know, kings and queens and things of that nature. But when it comes to protecting, when it comes to protecting our people. When it comes to partic part <laughs> protecting our kids, when it comes to protecting the the young, we ain't doing that. Like man, we are so we are so off, man. We're so off as as people. A lot of us are. There's there's some that that are that are into it. You understand what I'm saying? And you ain't gotta be no, you know, you know. A lot a lot of black people, you know, they they start, you know, when you talk that real. You know they want to make they want to seem like you a conspiracy conspiracy theorist and all this other stuff, but I'm no conspiracy theorist because you look up the definition of that. I'm not conspiring anything. That's what a that's what a conspiracy theorist is. I'm not conspiring anything. I'm giving you facts that you can go look up for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. But as far as being and and and, and what, what what I'm saying is that man, we have to try to do something. And it's it is and, and and it can happen, it's easy. It can happen, man. It can happen. You know? Everybody, 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 like on the social media, everybody wanna be seen. But it's like, man, nobody wants to be seen doing some 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 for real, real ass shit. You know, we wanna uh stick with this uh and latch on to this uh AI. Or this artificial intelli intelligence, or this this inception dream state where we want to just continue to ball so hard out here and try to turn up all the goddamn time. But like they like what they did in the in the in this last purge movie, the 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 last purge movie they came out with, they they tell you, they show you that that instead of when this pur when people if they gonna have people purging out here. And when and they specifically set that shit up for black people to go crazy and kill each other, what was black people doing? We was partying. We was partying. They had to go send somebody, send one of their coon intel ass niggas to go in there and disrupt, disrupt. Because black people was partying, and that's the thing. In reality, we are partying and turning up and doing nothing too much. And it don't take a lot of money to get things started, man. It really don't. It just takes caring. And we ain't caring enough collectively to try to protect protect our youth, man. We should be protecting our young people. We should not be having our young people out here, you know what I mean, getting violated. And I think that's the point of, of the whole R. Kelly the whole R. Kelly, let, that's what I'm saying. I put it up there on my on my page before, man. It's a distraction. You understand what I'm saying? Because this being had everything that they going back off of on R. Kelly, man, is like years ago. And if you old enough, you know what I'm saying, you you was you you was around that. You was around that and when 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 it was happening for real, for real. I mean, just go back and look at some of the things this nigga put out there on 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 uh, this nigga did an interview. Uh, who was he did an interview with? I was just looking at it the other day where, you know what I'm saying? He was very sketchy on this interview. You know what I'm saying? And people still like and listen to R. Kelly. 
Now, one, one, one other thing I would like to say. Because I put this up here. I put it up here on my own social media. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we'll, we'll talk about this R. Kelly thing all day. But what about Hugh Hefner, though? You know what I mean? I put a meme out there saying, what's the difference between the two? And, I mean, you know, a lot of people was putting some, some, some you know, he's putting whatever answers. But what I'm saying, though, is, is that, man, if you really look into Hugh Hefner's life, this is the thing, man. Everybody that commented on that, on that, on that um, message that I put out there, people were like, uh, the difference is one chose 18-year-olds and the other one chose kids, 15, teenagers, whatever, whatever. Now, see, that when, when those type of responses, man, you, you're, you're basically saying, you're basically saying that this man was okay for choosing 18 year olds, even if this nigga is like 90. You understand what I'm saying? That means you giving the clearance for that. Now, this is my thing with Hugh Hefner, man. You digging off into Hugh Hefner's history. Look, man, he's the one that sparked the sexual revolution. He's the one that sparked this child pornography. You understand what I'm saying? He's the one that sparked that 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 paradigm. Hugh Hefner was doing things. He was getting it popping like in the what fifties or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? Hugh Hefner was out there with it, and Playboy just wasn't man. He look man. You know what I'm saying? I, I've I've seen information where you know, it, 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 and they they talk about how you know what kind of preferences he he had or what kind of things he practiced and you know man i you know i really believe he was a pansexual if you look at what a pansexual is you ain't gonna want to deal you ain't gonna, you, a pansexual is not good you understand he's one of those people that was connected all through hollywood he was the one that created playboy he was the one that created you know what i'm saying just that whole sexual energy and that's that's where it moved into and where it has gone to a, a, a dark place right now. You understand what I'm saying? Where you got people, you got kids, you got uh uh people missing, you know what I'm saying, being sexually abused, violated, and all this other shit. Man, it's real out here, man. And Hugh Hefner, man, it's like, man, I I, I didn't condone, I wasn't really rocking with Hugh Hefner like that. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time I start really knowing who he, who Hugh Hefner was, I knew Playboy, but when I actually like saw who he was and all this other stuff, and he was an old he was an old man. You know what I'm saying? So nobody nobody is in here, you know, because I mean you you know I've, I've I've heard people talk about stories of uh, how they check you know checked IDs and everything at the Playboy matching, but I'm not about to sit up here and think that at one point in time he. He brought in who he wanted to brought in. He had rooms. He had areas. He had places where people can duck off in. I'm not about to sit up here and think that Hugh Hefner, Hugh Hefner, who, like I said, man, look, man, he he was locked in with all all that all that shit, man. He was locked in with all that Hollywood, all that all that uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, promisc promiscuous behavior, wild behavior, sex with anything behavior. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit up here and think Hugh Hefner was just a a good old a good guy that 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 started you know basically you know pornography and that's what I'm talking about, man. Niggas ain't out here niggas ain't out here studying. Niggas out here ain't even trying to investigate who these people are. You know what I'm saying? It's automatically just hey, you know Hugh Hefner. Hey man, he's a wild guy, man. Like look, man, that fucking hey man. Fucking hey, man. Hugh Hefner was my guy, man. Niggas out here, hey, man, Hugh Hefner was that nigga, son. Hugh Hefner was that nigga. He was that nigga. Look at all them hoes he got, nigga. He can chew. He got the other. You know what I'm saying? He was like, what, 90s? I don't know how old he was. He was old. But if he was with an 18-year-old, wouldn't nobody say nothing. And if they did, they wouldn't be going hard on him like, like R. Kelly. And this man was like, you know what I'm saying, elderly, elderly, and messing with, you know, 50, 60, 70 years younger. 
People was admiring that shit. I ain't about to be on much longer, man. But all I got to say, man, all I got to say is that it doesn't take much. Like, talk talk to your own family members, yo. Stay, stay close to your family that, you know what I'm saying, that you know you can trust. You know what I'm saying? Talk about these things. We don't talk about that. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't go hard for this shit. <clears throat> I'm somebody who wants to do all that shit, but I'm just one man. You understand what I'm saying? We don't have summits. We don't have we don't have sit downs. You understand what I'm saying? We don't have discussions. We don't we don't talk with black women. We don't want to figure out what, what what black women are going through. We don't we don't even want, we don't ask. You know what I'm saying? And then and then in your family, you should be want to protect your family and protect your cousins, your female cousins. No kids, all that means you be want to protect all that shit. Slow down, eh? I'm gonna show you something right here, man. Hold on. Oh, shit. Right here, man. Sound like he's about to choke. So, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know how long I've been on here, but. We, we got to do something, man. We got to do something, man. I'm with whatever, man. I'm, I'm about whatever. When it comes to empowering our people and trying to heal this shit, because that's that's the whole thing about trying to get free, man, because we still slaves, man. You see, we, we still, this whole thing is slavery, man. I'm not even, like I said before, it's slavery. It's slavery. It's slavery. We were not being molested before we were slaves. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even think black people really understand the magnitude of what slavery was. They always paint that picture like they like they like we know it's just we was in chains and blah blah blah. But it was more than that. It was more than that. You understand what I'm saying? It was more than that. It was straight control. You understand? Everything from the Bible to having breeding breeding places. You know what I'm saying? It's a breeding place in Ohio they had, where they were breeding breeding slaves. They was making slaves dark, I mean lighter. You understand what I'm saying? Bucking, bucking the men, raping men, raping men in front of their families, yo. In front of their wives and their mamas. You know what I mean? Just to show their dominance. You know what I'm saying? Putting, putting, putting pregnant women, tying horses to each leg and making the horses go in other directions while the baby just come right out and they stepping on the baby's head this is shit that they used to do to us man and that's what i'm saying like if that shit makes you feel okay and makes you feel all right then you a goddamn slave man and you a coon a nigga like me no i don't feel that i don't like that so i will i will you know at this point in my, in my life i want to try to try to try to say that i did something you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I got a kid out here, man. Like if I want, if I have more kids, I want them to understand how they daddy used to move. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we should be, man. We should be protecting our our our, our kids. If we don't want to listen to R. Kelly no more, then stop listening to the nigga. But oh, what happened when after they dropped the docu series? This nigga sales goes up. His sales goes up. <laughs> and, and and let's not get it twisted, man. I'm pretty sure those streams, they were white people listening to R. Kelly. Black people already know about R. Kelly. So wh why are we going to go stream? We ain't about to go stream. You know what I'm saying? We ain't about to go stream no new R. Kelly after we didn't just seen him uh, be on some violating shit. Niggas ain't wanting to go do that. I, and that's what they're not releasing. They're not saying who was who made his uh, numbers go up streaming. I guarantee it was, it was white people, man. I guarantee. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it might might be some old old billionaire white man. You understand? This old billionaire white man that know who the Migos are. We are getting we are getting we are the dollar bill now. We are the dollar bill. 
black people are the dollar bill. They're making money off us of, in so many ways that it that is ridiculous. And we are allowing this shit to happen. That's why they don't take us serious as people. They don't take us serious as people at all. Hey. They don't take us serious as people. Hold on. Hold on, my man. They don't take us serious as people, man. You understand what I'm saying? They don't, they don't take us serious as people. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of us that's doing some old buck dancing coon ass niggas out here. It's a lot of niggas out here that are cooning, man. A lot of niggas that are cooning. You understand what I'm saying? That's the other problem, man. We got that civil war popping. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? We should be, man, look, man. At the end of the day, man, we got to be we gotta be protecting our, our, our kids. We got to be protecting each other. We really got to be serious at some point out here, man. I, I don't know. Like I said, man, it, it don't take much. You know what I'm saying? You can start a non-for-profit profit organization. Your family can start one. You understand what I'm saying? It can, it can be meant to, to, you can get resources based off that. You know what I'm saying? We need lots and lots of therapy. Every black person needs lots and lots of therapy. Every black person needs lots and lots of therapy. Every black person. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't give a damn who it is. You need therapy, nigga, like me. And every other black person, if your roots stem from being born here in America, you come from a line of crazy shit popping off since since your people been on this soil. I'm gonna just leave it as that, man, because I ain't about to. I ain't about to. Let's let's do something out here, man. Non for profits. Get with your family. That's 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 gonna be the. I'm talking about the ones who you can trust. The ones who you can stick by, stick together with, those are the ones that you know what I mean. You need to, you got to start something with. I'm gonna keep saying that. I don't give a damn if I say that every time I get on. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm hollering at my family, man. I'm hollering at my cousins and shit, man. I'm, I, I, I don't, I, I want to do something with my cousins, man. I want to do something with my family on some for real family shit. You know what I'm saying? And one thing is gonna be protecting our motherfucking family, and you can take that to the heart, nigga. All right, man. I'm, I'm I'm about to be out. I appreciate everybody, man. That's uh, check me out. You know, what I mean, this is something serious, man. Like something for real. I had to get this shit off my chest, b. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, because it's like we out here, we out here just doing whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here doing whatever, and we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we can be doing so much out here, man. We ain't gotta just be doing nine to five slave slave shit and just turning up every weekend, going out and all that. We ain't gotta be doing that. So, hey man, that's it, man. I'm out. Comedian J Scott. You can go to comedianjscott.com. Uh, be on the lookout. Uh, I got I got some shows getting ready to come up here uh, next couple months or whatever. So, holla at your boy. Check me out on all social network, all social platforms, Comedian J. Scott. Or type in my hashtag, which is hashtag W-T-F-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-B. And it'll take you through, you know, my experience, man, my life. So, all right, man. Hey, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a good evening. I'm going to check back, holla back, and, you know, Share this, man. Share this. Hit the like button. You know what I mean? Y'all stay up, man. Stay cautious out here. Peace.